This week on Clown College. I wrestled a special needs person. Oh, so, so it was And like, they slammed the shit out of you, didn't they? <laughs> no, dude. It was bad because it was senior night. And my mom, my mom never came to any of my. She's German. She doesn't do things like that, like uh, support me. But uh, so she, so she actually came to this wrestling match at senior night. But they didn't have a, um, they didn't have a person for me to wrestle. And I was the best dude on the team. And I was like, just give me anybody. And they were like, well, this dude from JV and. He was clearly something was wrong with him, you know, and I could have went easy on him, but I beat him like 15 seconds. I just slammed him on the mat and pinned him just because, you know, he needed to he needed to. I think you should do that. They should all be treated the same. That's Everyone good. should be treated the same. And why did you say they? I was talking about the special needs. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, Welcome to Clown College. We have profound knowledge. In many ways, the elevator make it sound polished. So if you want to hear a little honest, a few takes on a ways to make it as a comic, then stick around for a while. If you're down to clown, we got the guest right now just to show you how. Let's all go to Clown College, baby. Let's all go to Clown Got to hit a vape after that one, dude. I feel that. Dude. Get that, that mojo back. So we just filmed a whole episode where we're about to dismount <laughs> yes. off of, and the power just went out because yeah. Yeah, of dude. this storm that nobody knew was coming. Yeah. You know. Came out of nowhere. Scared the shit out of us. Things happen for a reason. Things guys. happen. Things yeah. happen. It's all a blessing. Yeah. We got we got more pressing things to talk about. Yes, we do. Yeah, dude. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's, what, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Hell yeah! I, mean, I gotta hear about. I'm. We, do, do we just break it in, or yeah. we, we lead it up to it? I, I mean, we can we can save it if we want to talk about some other happenings. What what what's happening in the world today, Brandon? Man, in the world today, mm, well, I heard I heard yesterday that John Cena's retiring. So, oh my gosh, uh, yeah, that's okay. that's deep. I feel like right now I'm in denial part. Mm-hmm. Because they said the 2025 season, but once he's gone, I'm going to be hurt because, dude, that's another era. I remember when he was there, and I was like, damn, look at this new guy coming in here, even though he wasn't that new because, you know, he started in 2002. Did he? But, when I, yeah, when I started watching, like, 2009, he was on top of the world, and I was looking at Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant. Uh-huh. When they're, well, Andre's dead. Brandon, Hulk Hogan was just old calling people the N-word. Is there a better <laughs> – sick. I mean, that's what I aspire to be one day. Yeah. And sadly, look at this. I, I, I still got a figure, man. I got a. Mm. I got all. I got all his years. I got the 1975 or 1979 one when he was close to the Sunder Lips in '82, mm. and then I got the Japanese edition, which oh, you that, like very I much. I fuck with that one, dude. Yep. Then I got of WWE course, Legend WCW. Collection. I got the 1985. No, actually, the limited edition 1986. Coliseum edition that is a remake of the LJN one that it was very very hard to find. If you could find that right now, you had about almost two hundred dollars. Just letting you know. So look in your little toy box and you'll see. This is all gibberish to me. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. What's being? I'll show said. you a picture of it. It's beautiful. Brandon, is there a better entrance in wrestling than when John Cena came back in two thousand and eight to the Royal Rumble after he tore his pec, dude? He came back early. I have to see that one again. It's been so long. Dang, man. But you don't I remember I, the most epic one. Nah, I did I just out Tism Brandon right now? <laughs> yeah. no, That's not God. even LJN. I'm trying to show y'all LJN. They're trying to show me Mattel. This <laughs> one right here, the black card. <laughs> How dare they, man? Damn. Hold up. That's a bed. That's got to be a bed. Because if not, that's a bed. Brandon's about steal. to get lost. <laughs> yeah, okay, it. we back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, so dude, he's in the black card. Listen, the black card is the biggest. Like, if you find a black card, you're going to get like almost a thousand dollars. A black card? Yes, the black card from uh, the LJN. This is late 80s, you know, 1988 uh-huh. to 1989. When they ended it, only What's the black dollars? card. Though? Yeah, is it is it inside this thing? Oh no, this is the black card right here. See, so the original card is this, this blue one. Oh, uh, if you get that black one, you in uh, there. Okay, okay. You know what Damn, I mean? dude. Yeah, man. Okay. Good times, good times. So, I need to hear the rest of this story. So okay. we literally, we don't know anything about this story, uh, but uh, it's interesting, and I want to hear about yes. it. Go ahead. Yeah. Start so, around. there was. 
a, a crime that was committed. And I went to UAH. Dom currently goes to UAH. Everybody in Huntsville knows what it is. University of Alabama in Huntsville. Huntsville gang charges. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> More like the charges, but uh, yeah, it's not funny. But in 2010, uh, a woman who worked for UAH, she was a professor in the biology department. She applied for tenure, and then a year she got rejected. They did not accept her bid. And a year later, she went to a department meeting, and at the end of the meeting, she took out a handgun from her purse, shot six people, killed three of them, and it's it's wild. And it's it That's, made like national headlines and all. Now, were, were they were they staff or or students? It was like it was staff. It was all the depart. Yeah, it was like the damn. all the biology department. It was in the Shelby Center. And she just went in there. Yeah, I, that's crazy because yeah. you know in yeah. that motherfucker, dude. And she just said pop, pop, pop. Yep, damn. six people dude, damn. shot. But um, I wonder what kind of gun it was. Damn, it was a Ru- It was a Ruger. The Ruger. P P ninety four something like that. P ninety eight. It says it in the article on the New Yorker, which is a great read, by the way. If you like this kind of shit, mm. it's wild. All right. So, but so- um, yeah. Uh, shit. Where was I? Okay. So she shoots up the meeting and everything, and she gets apprehended by the police. They take her into custody. They're holding her in jail, awaiting trial. And then the Huntsville Police Department gets a call from a, like, Boston suburb area police department. And they were like, hey, this might be relevant to the case. She shot and killed her brother back in the day. Damn. Wow. Never faced any charges for it. They, how the, how the, they describe what happened with her brother was like their father or one of their other brothers died and during the wake somebody came and robbed their house like just rents their house for all the valuables fucked up thing to do Uh uh-huh but they get back the the brother's like enraged like he's so mad he goes and buys a gun from like a sporting goods store in the area shotgun and the mom and her right there amy bishop they don't like it they're like we don't want you to have this gun in the house or whatever and a few days pass and the dude comes back and amy has the gun and she's walking down the stairs and she's like hey i got i put a shell in this i don't know how to unload it you know can you show me and the mom and the brother are in the kitchen and the mom's like well don't point it at anybody and she like turns it around to show her brother and pulls the trigger shoots him point blank in the chest dies he was 18 years old damn damn yeah, but the mom's the only witness. She fled the scene. Actually. The mom? No, no. The oh. the sister fled the scene. Okay, her. She fled the scene, and the 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 mom calls the police, or she calls the police, or something. And there wasn't enough conclusive evidence to prove that it was murder. And the mom testified in her favor, saying that it was an accident, uh. that it was just like a freak accident. Kind of hard to believe now, yeah. Given what happened, uh huh. But so that happens, and after a little, a few years after that, she has her first child. I think she ended up having four kids, but okay. the first child, dude, she named him Seth after her brother, and the baby is born on the same day as her brother. Dude, that's some Ouija board shit. Creepy, right here. dude. Creepy, and she writes three books. She publishes three books, and in one of them, the main female protagonist has a son and names him after somebody who she loved that died, and she's worried that the son is going to grow up to be like the guy that died. So she's like uses these three novels and frames it as this fictitious narrative and this story that happened, but it's actually what happened in real life and then another one this bitch crazy yeah, she's crazy. wild bro she's wild. <laughs> she, she wild. was a phd graduate from harvard Dang. what she got a phd from harvard in neurobiology get the fuck out yes. so she's smart and she was northeastern Ooh. undergrad harvard doctoral student Damn. with a neurobiology phd crazy and um but then, like, people start shitting on her in the in the article. They're like, she was the weakest candidate for a doctoral <laughs> student we've ever seen. Man. But she did have a PhD. 
And dude, and, and in the <laughs> other books, her husband never worked. He was kind of like a bum. He had, you Respect. know, odd jobs here and there. And she was actually quoted as saying he was too smart to work. Hmm. Kind of weird to say. Yeah. But in one of the books, the main protagonist, her husband is like the character in the book describes her husband as a limp, bed-loving loser. <laughs> Damn. She's talking shit through her books. Shit. And he works at Radio Shack, actually, in the book, which is crazy wow. to think about. But, uh, and and it doesn't get any less crazy, dude. Right, in right 2002, here. she goes to an IHOP with her son, Seth, the one that she named after her brother that she killed. Uh-huh. They run out of, like, uh, what are they called? Like, the little chairs, the high chairs for the babies. Yeah, high, t- high chair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, they give the last one to this other lady, and Amy Bishop becomes enraged. She Karen's out, bro. She's like, we were here first. And and the manager comes. They leave. Like, she has to leave. She goes and punches the other woman in the face. Damn. Not even the one who gave it to her, just the one. The I one got who it. got it with her child. Like, punches her in the face. Pull the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> she over here punching people in the face. Did she win? Who won? Well, I think she kind of just sneaked. Yeah. Uh, you you know, don't expect that. She, she kind of sneaked her, bro, and then just left. And that was while she was at Harvard. Wow. And, like, they were just like, oh, she's under a lot of stress. She's a PhD student. Like, we can't, you know, things happen, Hell which is God. wild. And it, it's a violent crime, dude. Yeah. And so... That happens, and then in 2003, a year later, she starts working at UAH. And seven years go by, 2010, she applies for tenure, doesn't get it, commits a mass shooting at the department meeting. And the way the article describes it is like she waits till the meeting's almost over. She reaches in her bag. (laughs) She's sitting next to the head of the department, pulls out the pistol, and puts one right through his head. Jeez. Kills him instantly, and then turns the gun on another professor, on another professor, shoots six people. Now, they interview somebody who was in the meeting uh-huh. that survived, who was like her best work friend. But in the, in the article, she admits, like, yeah, I voted against her receiving tenure. Like, students complained about her. She was very hard to work with. She didn't do any research and publish articles in UAH as a research-based university. Uh-huh. Just a lot of complaints against her. And I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of complaints against this woman. And so she knew that that other lady didn't, but, like, voted against her receiving tenure. They had talked about it. But they had ha- conversations after that about, like, she was like, oh, my professional life is over. And the woman is like, no, it's not. You just got to find your fit. You got to find a place, you know, where you can excel in. The lady, the best friend, dove under the table when the shooting started. She dives under the table. And at this point, six people, you know, are bleeding out. Three of them are dead. Uh-huh. And she says that she crawls out from under the table and flings her arms around Amy Bishop's legs and looks up at her and is like, please. You know my children. You know I have a family. Don't shoot me. Please don't kill me. She said she looked her dead in the eyes, raised the gun up, and pulled the trigger, but it jammed. Damn. It jammed. And so the lady, like, runs out in the hallway. She follows her and keeps pulling the trigger, but it, it's just not firing. Nah, bro. Like some cold-blooded shit. That Man, d- she hell is uh, no. She Demon, went, dude. She went to the bathroom. Washed off the gun, took her blazer off that had all the blood on it, put it in the trash can, went into the lab downstairs and asked a like grad student who was studying in there, hey, can I use your phone real quick? She calls her husband and is like, hey, I'm finished. The meeting's over. And he comes to pick her up. But at that point, she she got arrested. Like the police apprehended her. And heartless, bro. Soulless. Hell no. Nah. She says she's cap on shoot but the gun yeah that's an asshole right there just Damn. followed her pulling the trigger look in this bitch's where's she at now though. i see it Prison? she's still in jail right yeah she good. found god good but, yeah right Did she really? that's what she said that's Man. what she says in the in the article because the article's from 2013 this happened mm. in 2010 mm. Mm. look look that article up if she actually, ever Brandon, gets please. parole it's on news is it because it's um look up the new yorker 
Just keep that and then New, New Yorker. Dude, I can't believe that happened wild. to UAH too. That's fucking wild. Wild, dude. wild as shit. And this this I've that's it. That. That's it. Look at the fucking painting they made of her, dude. Man, she Fitz looks like British. Javier Bardem in No Country for Old Men. Yeah. <laughs> like Man. it's insane. Shoot likes him too, I guess. That's what he fucking Look Anton like Shagura right there. From Will you remember a chocolate factory? Yeah. <sighs> the, scroll down a little bit, Brandon. I wanna find that part. Scroll down. Jeez. Moriarty is the is the best friend's name. Moriarty. Moriarty. Let's go down here. Yeah, and back down. Oops. Too far? Keep going. Yeah. yeah I'm stop. People screamed, duck for cover. Moriarty dived under the table with gunshots ringing out above her. She flung her arms around Bishop's leg and screamed, Amy, don't do this. Think of my daughter. Think of my grandson. That's Bishop bad. looked down, then turned the gun on Moriarty. Click. Moriarty, in terror, stared at the gun. The weapon had jammed. Damn. She crawled past Bishop into the hallway. Bishop followed her, repeatedly squeezing the trigger. That's insanity, dude. That's ridiculous. Dude, that's the evil right there that you don't come across. That's evil. Yeah. evil but this was like huge national news. And in the like, this was 2013. So, you know, Columbine was 14 years previous. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Sandy Hook happened this same year. Oh, in did 2010. it? 2010. Yeah. I don't know if it had already happened, but it happened. Or no, that was like a couple years later. Who gives a fuck? But um, not like that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important to what I'm trying to say. Mass shootings weren't like a crazy phenomenon. Yeah. They were pretty. They were happening by this yeah, point. Man. But it made national news headlines because it's one of the. It's not very often that a woman commits a mass shooting. Yeah. Is she like one of the only ones? I mean, wow. I don't know any other I don't other know ones. of any man. other one. I know I women serial killers like poison your drinks because oh, they're yeah. weaker. Yeah, but like a firearm? Yeah. Not mm. not common. And I think man. the biggest lesson we learned about this whole story is don't buy a Ruger. Yeah, don't do that. Right. I, but, but also you should. <laughs> I, don't, I don't purchase I got a firearms, dude. So with the tenor, tenor is becoming a teacher, right? Huh? The tenure, tenure is one to be a teacher. Right? Tenure is like it kind of secures your position. She was uh, already a professor, oh, but shit, when you apply man. for tenure, you get like a retirement plan. It's kind of like hard, oh, it's I hard to fire you. Yeah, you have kind of like impossible. a permanent spot. Yeah. Wow. So she's teaching. crazy. I mean, if she wasn't that crazy, and somebody else came in there, we would be covered. I would want to be in her class, but for this situation, no. <laughs> That's fucked up. Damn. It's a good take. I can't believe this. I want. <sighs> Dog. That hurts. She was so. It sounds like she was aiming for people. Yeah. No, she was. It was solely just to, for revenge. That's messed up. Because she man. was pissed. So, do you think she would have killed more if the gun didn't jam? Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. So, I mean, she tried to kill the lady. Besides, who's... but she was after her because she knew she didn't vote for her. Well, everybody else is just under the table or screaming. Like, yeah. She was standing in the doorway. Nobody could get past her. Damn. And the lady jumped out from underneath the table. And grabbed her legs and was like, please don't shoot me. And she was like, wow. Damn. Yeah, How could you do that? Man? It's insane, man. Dude, I, I was reading this and I just could not fucking believe it, dude. Because I've been in Shelby. Like, and I'd heard yeah, people talk I've been about there too. it. But I didn't know how deep this fucking went, dude. I had no. I, books, I never even heard anybody talk about it. Me neither. Punching man. the lady at IHOP. Come yeah. on, man. Killing her brother. Son, son the, being born on the same day. It's weird, man. I wonder what her kids. That's gonna think. be a big. Ass she has movie. four kids. She has four of them. So you got yeah. you got to monitor those kids because if they have any kind of crazy that she has, it yeah. can get sexy and get weird. Yeah, it can. But my yeah. question. <laughs> what? I agree. Okay. <laughs> sexy is. I mean, crazy is sexy, but not not too. You don't want to get too crazy killing people. Yeah, you don't have a mass shooter sexy. No. Yeah. Freaking, no, whatever. you can't deal with that. She might kill you. <laughs> She's gonna not, not my. She will kill you. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, she, and she doesn't kill like most women. She went with a gun. Cold fucking like, blood. violent, bloody, violent. messy, just and, outright cold-hearted shit. And had somebody begging her to not to kill her, and still said, "No, nah, bitch, you, you should have voted go. for me to get tenure." Yeah, that's wild, wild bro. That's you know my kids. Shit. She's like, your tenure ends here, dude. <laughs> Like, that's, that's insane but the people the people i was around that i talked to when i first read this they were like oh well maybe she did accidentally kill her brother and then that's what changed her i don't think so man no like mm. she she 
it was real look, go sketch. back to our pictures of her yeah <laughs> you can tell by looking at yeah that these right. eyes let's screen. look at her eyes let's go back y'all come on i mean she was having it's, hold on let me search she was a little up. crazy yeah okay i'm going to get over here to the rugger Ooh. amy her name Call was amy bishop hate guns man yeah is this like okay here go, go, go here to go her, and her husband. go to her and her husband her and her husband. Or whoever that guy. <laughs> I think that's her husband. He looked crazy as damn. That's the guy so. that works at Radio Shack, I think. Damn. Uh, he makes me angry to look at. Like Forrest Gump, isn't he? Him. Scroll down. Let's see. Well, he's alive. That's that's actually, I think that's something that they invented, uh, uh, that they were like trying to sell. What oh. they're holding. Oh, my God. Wait, what is that? Please Is, don't is that work. from the TV show? Oh, God. They made it. Well, it makes sense. That's a terrible wig. That's yeah, that, a, that's a I don't, bad that, that's bad. That's bad all around. Yeah. yeah. There's, not, there's nothing great yeah, the, about the this. Lighting, the, oh, now that, dude, look, look at that. Look at look that. that. That's crazy. Look at her. Look, Click on that picture where they're putting her in the car. Right above right that in. one that you got. Oh, right any in. of them. Damn. Oh. Yeah. That's crazy. That's, that's when she got arrested. Right there. Ooh. Or uh, in Mom court. from Malcolm in the Middle. Ooh. Oh, I can see Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many things she looks like in this oh, picture. Dude. A demon? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a demon. If you can kill people see, like that. See, you just need to put these people down because yeah. you can't let... If There's no way she can go out back to society. I don't... You can't recover from that one, no. man. Yeah. You killed... Well, I mean, you killed three people then. You killed somebody years before that. Yeah. Uh-huh. You punched a lady in an IHOP. Mm-hmm. You have a history of violent and sporadic outburst. Like, you're a danger to society. Yeah, she man. killed her brother on purpose. She killed her brother. Oh, of course. It, that didn't change her. point blank shoot somebody with a shotgun. No. When they're telling you, stop playing with that, don't point it at somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't like, they just didn't have any witnesses. I mean, the mom was there and was like, it was an accident. But the mom wants to believe it's an accident. Oh, dude. You know, nothing more she, than the mom In the wants. article, she was still like, she just snapped. That's what she said. Yeah, I think I I think that was after she had you know shot up wow. the meeting. Jesus it's Christ. a year before. You could tell she's crazy in this picture too. That's the winter two thousand nine. Man, it's crazy. I mean that wearing that haircut. She get you nine to, oh, yeah, know, nine to life. <laughs> you should be scared. <laughs> you should be able to fucking just pull that yeah, off. You see way. that? Mm-hmm. Oh man, shit! Man, crazy shit. Yeah. So what else happened? Man, well, <laughs> well I mean, on, on 4th of July, I went to work and came home, and then uh, I don't know how this happened, but my key fell out of my pocket, and I got locked out of my house, and my mom was gone, my uncle was gone, oh, nobody shit. was there, so for like two to three hours, I'm literally outside with a credit card just clawing at the door, <laughs> trying so hard, and then like people on the phone like, Brandon, man, like first somebody like, get a locksmith, then somebody like, go to your neighbor, but me, you know, which this made me feel better about myself, because I realized I'm like a warrior, man, I'm not going to give up and try to get somebody else. No, I kept doing it until my phone literally was overheated. Like I said, I need to get somewhere cooler, and there was nowhere else to be cooler, and I was literally like my neighbor... So my dad called my neighbor, and then he came over and literally saw me. <laughs> like, you literally see me laying there uh, just trying to claw slowly. You're on the ground? Yeah, it's literally sitting on the ground trying to get into this door with this credit card. And then he was like, damn, how long? Man, I've never seen you sweat like that before, Brandon. And That's you know lie. I sweat. <laughs> but, dude, I was sweating so horrible. I was hot. And he's like, we're going to have to get you a, a doorknob or something, man. This ain't going to work and because he tried it. So then door we, knob. yeah, what you know the, the you know the doorknob. Does it wait? How I'm are you locked. locked out of the house if it doesn't have a doorknob? No. So what I'm saying is the doorknob's locked, so I can't open it. I'm trying to pick it with a with, what's that thing? Did it have a deadbolt too? Why would he no. need to get you a doorknob? No, because uh, we couldn't get in this house. There what was no way because nobody was okay. there. Can we can we backtrack this a little <laughs> yes. bit? Why why was your phone hot? Because I was like, I had it, because it was hot outside. It was like almost 100 degrees, I feel like. Uh-huh. It's nine years yeah. old. Oh, yeah. so you didn't have a, por- have you don't have a porch or a cover. No, I got an XR, like that old one. <laughs> huh? I got the iPhone the XR. IPhone. Oh, no, no. I'm saying you don't have a cover to your porch. Oh, yeah, I did. I eventually put it over there, but I was trying to talk and get it. I was like, yo, what should I do? He was calling a lot of people yeah. outside. And, and then, like, okay. people kept sending me a bunch of things. So then we went to Home Depot and got a new door, and we just got a hammer and just... Boom, we broke that bitch off. And it came off very easily, so this was good that we did this. You didn't just wait for somebody else <laughs> with the keys? 
No, no, because dude, dude, I would have had to wait like a couple days because what? they they weren't like my, oh, when I okay. called my mom, she was like, "Oh, you on your own, son?" Hung up. <laughs> Damn. And dude. shit. So I'm just like, dude, I literally got stabbed in the bushes trying to break in my window. I couldn't because they're all locked. So I was like, "Fuck." Every man. window was locked. Yes, every window was locked. So I was just stuck out there, heated in my work clothes, and then eventually we busted the, the doorknob and we got a new one. I'm sure Jake has a lock picking kit somewhere. Without a doubt. You know how much Definitely it costs though to get your door unlocked from a locksmith? Almost two hundred dollars. But it sounds like your house was first of all much extremely was easy to break into. <laughs> oh yeah, not anymore because we replaced that door, but because it was the whole door? <laughs> no, not the door, the door knob. Do you guys got a deadbolt? Deadbolt. What's that? The top lock, the the big lock. <laughs> oh yeah, we have the big one. Thankfully, that one was unlocked. We don't lock that because he had to have another key for that one. <laughs> Man, yeah. you should just go to a minute key at a Walmart yeah. and make just a lot of copies. Oh, I did. I did. I actually made two. Hold on, let me show you. What? Let me show you. <laughs> I, I'm very excited about this one. Look, I made the Star Wars one. <laughs> then I got the I got the Deadpool one too. Hell yeah! Oh, yeah. Don't shit. show out on. Oh yeah. shit! Hell yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> now I gave my mom her key. She wasn't happy about that. She was like, oh, I want the one that blink with the lights on. I'm sorry. I didn't, you didn't what? tell me. She wanted one that flashed I thought I heard lights. you say something no, very different. No, not, there, there's one that you press. It's like a flashlight uh, that they had. I don't think you didn't what? tell me about that flash. There's a flashlight key. That if you press the button, the light comes on. Like, I thought I you were talking this. about like a key fob for a car that unlocks <laughs> your door. No, no. I wish, man. My, my car can't do that. I got I to gotta lock them all in individually. Press them all down. Pull them all up. Plus, my back trunk don't even lock. I shouldn't be saying this out here. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Damn, people are going to know which car is brand new. Oh, yeah. Uh, By the stickers. <laughs> Dude, they, somebody broke in at the VBC already once. They found it out. I had some shoes. I was finna sell this small Patrick Star shoes, a size five or six I found at the thrift store. Uh-huh. And when I was trying to sell it, man, I was uh, doing security for this show <laughs> called, this band called Ghost, which people say it was oh, kind of like a, yeah. a devil type thing. I don't yeah. know, man. They said it was something like that. And, dude, it was crazy. There was people outside. There was this girl that acting like she was possessed on the ground, roaring while the police She was, was having an to, overdose. Yeah, <laughs> probably. She yeah. was not possessed. And I was just watching like, damn, people were acting crazy. And then I go to my car and they stole my shit. So I couldn't sell it. And then they stole my scale too. I had a I had a kitchen scale in there, man. Oh. For oh man, for the stuff I sell on eBay, sell figures, what? like toys. And to, oh, to like weigh it to yeah. ship. Yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah. That's one man, way to Brandon, use. Brandon, <laughs> you are like the definition of self incrimination. Yeah, now, <laughs> Brandon would admit to a crime he didn't do. Yeah, <laughs> man. without a doubt. Just sit down. Did you? No, no man, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Damn, did he can I? You have video evidence he wasn't there and he was still. Oh, uh, <laughs> maybe I was in the peripheral view. He calls the cops. He's like, there's a girl getting possessed. They stole my Patrick Star shoes yeah. and my scale that I use to weigh the stuff I sell on eBay. Man. Oh, yeah, I told him, too. It's a bad too. day, dude. I did. I called up. I was like, yo, they stole my shoes and stuff, man, my scale. So what we gonna what and they're like, man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And they, they, they didn't do nothing. So. Of course. They're not gonna I know they can't do nothing. Back. You just yeah. uh, lock your door next time. It was just a back trunk. They must have crawled through there. It's a <laughs> lot of stuff in my trunk, so I applaud them for that. <laughs> <laughs> At they least they shit back there. Tenacity to get through there. They probably got high in my car and all that shit. Cause they were getting high too. You think they jerked off in there? If they did, whatever. without a doubt. That's all right. <laughs> Without a doubt. That's right. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to, I don't know if he wants me to say his name, but there's a comedian who has the funniest story he told me about uh, when he was in college. A homeless man broke in his truck and jerked off in there. And that was like <laughs> over 10 years ago. And still to this day, if it gets hot enough, you can smell it. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> he's That's like, bad. and he's like, he had to explain to his wife after they got married. She's like, Did, were you doing something in here? Did you masturbate in your truck? Are you serious? Yeah, that and bad? he was like, "No, I was this homeless guy from when I was in college." It's that fucking. That's some stank. Yeah, that's he, I mean, he might that's have sad. went multiple rounds with himself in there and just <laughs> that's sad. Embedded it. Ooh, ass cheeks just on the fucking leather oh or gosh. the cloth. You know it. They ain't wiped his ass. He probably didn't even time. shave too. Think, at that point, yeah. it doesn't matter if it's leather or cloth, bro. Damn. Your car has been molested. <laughs> that's sad. All right, well, that's all for us today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's we good. We learned idea. a lot. I'm happy. 
Yeah, we gave AJ a great intro. Dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Murder, jerking off. Yeah. How to get into your house. Yeah, man. Yep. If, if you have freedom. a hammer or a brick, you can get into your house anytime. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I'm sorry. You, you break it down. Or a key, man. I wanted to kick it in, but you, no, you can't kick like, Brandon, All don't right. kick the door. All right, we got AJ O'Leary coming up <laughs> <Yeah>. after this. <laughs> This week's featured comedian. You know what I've never seen anyone in a ski mask do? Ski. Even if I saw someone skiing in a ski mask, I'd be like, you're gonna rob someone later. Tell me you're gonna steal those skis at least. <laughs> My own peace of mind. <laughs> the next question I have for y'all. Y'all know who Peter Dinklage is, right? Game of Thrones actor. Sure. If you're not familiar, Peter Dinklage, very famous actor, he's four feet five inches tall, all right? Name is Peter Dinklage, four foot five. Do y'all think Peter Dinklage changed his name to sound more like a midget? <laughs> right? Like his name was Peter Longfellow. Well, we gotta introduce. We do have to introduce. Today we have a very special guest. Dude, we're Who on we a got? fucking streak yes, of having are. out of towners, dude. Now this guy is somebody we've been trying to get on the podcast for a while. Months. He kept ducking the smoke. Ducking a lot. But he's here now, dude. He's fucking here. He's the host of the Funny Business Ooh. Comedy Showcase at Kerrigan's in mm. Birmingham. He also does the Gray Bar on Tuesday nights and open my Tuesdays. Cole Knowles, who will be on the podcast next week, or we'll shoot him, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll see. He's yeah. coming on, dude. <laughs> he's who a knows? writer. He's a comic. He's a fucking hell of a guy. I love him. He's gay. It's AJ oh, O'Leary. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, thank you for coming yeah. on, brother. Oh, oh yeah. thanks for having me, dude. Not gay, if you're watching <laughs> Mom and Dad. Not gay. Up for interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, we like to fuck around. We gave JJ a little one too many screwdrivers, so I want to oh, keep feeding yeah. them. Oh, yeah, I love dude. it. I hey, love yeah. it. Just for you. I'm like a fucking handyman. I got so many oh, yeah. screwdrivers. Yeah, we <laughs> screwed them good, man. We screwed them up. Screwed well, you know, you could have said it a different way, Brad. Yeah. You, you, we didn't have to say we screwed them. Please don't say that. <laughs> My grandma yeah, will kick me okay. out of the house. <laughs> don't give her another reason, man. Hey, so uh, so how you? Well, you're from Birmingham, right? You're a Birmingham comic. Yeah, I mean, I live there now. I'm from North Carolina, but yeah, I've lived in Birmingham. North Kakalaki, huh? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, uh, near Asheville. When you when you move to Birmingham? Uh, in uh, two and a half years ago. Oh shit! So you're new. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a, shit. I didn't know that. I thought you were just born and raised there. No, I have family in Birmingham. I have some cousins, but, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a newbie. Hell yeah. Dude. Wait a minute, dude. What? Wait a minute, bro. What happened? Birmingham Southern, dude. Is that <laughs> not where you went to college? I went to uh, UNC Chapel Hill. So Ooh. that joke I've been saying for the past two months doesn't make any sense at all? Well, I kind of just, I wrote, I'm a journalist, and I wrote about them closing. <sighs> So I was like, oh, I guess, oh, he read the story. It's getting around. All right. You know, no, I've never read anything you wrote. But <laughs> I thought you went to Keep Birmingham going. Southern this entire time. Actually, I have read some things you wrote, and I'm tired of this shit because we got to call him out. Come on. For what he wrote, dude. First of all, AJ O'Leary, you've heard it here on the Clown College college comedy podcast first he's anti central and south american immigrant he's also pro child labor and i have the Damn. evidence to prove it dude. <laughs> oh boy uh may 21st 2009 article from the blue ridge now titled immaculata student is principal for a day mm. a fifth grader they made him principal of the entire educational institution for an entire day dude solid Damn. okay and aj o'leary 11 year old aj o'leary was quoted as saying i think it's kind of cool Wow, man. <laughs> he thinks child labor is kind of cool. Damn shame. Is that, that what you're into? What that do you is, have to say about that? That is what they would have asked a fifth grader about. <laughs> I I didn't know I was principal for a day. Wow, this is a real no, walk you down weren't, memory No, you weren't lane. shit, dude. They just asked you. Yeah. Oh, dang. You're, you're a classmate. Hunter mm. something. I can't oh, Hunter Bickford. Yeah, he was principal for a day. Wow, okay. And uh, A.J. O'Leary, 11-year-old version, was <laughs> quoted as saying, I think it's kind of cool. 
<laughs> and that's all you said. <laughs> but not like very cool. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Like a little bit. It's kind of. Just a little cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Sometimes um, they need to work, the kids. True. Yeah. For, for the betterment of us. You know what? I, I will actually go on the record as saying I am for child labor because my parents ran an old timey general store and we started working. They had us like Bubba behind O'Leary's. the counter. That's it. Yeah, when, I, yeah. when we were like nine and 10. So yeah. my parents used us for child labor. It worked out. Did you get paid for it or allowance or what? Yeah, we got paid for it. You got paid for yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. Under minimum wage though, right? I think it was minimum wage. I think You really was, got minimum wage? Yeah, he, I was yeah, getting, but what, what is minimum, minimum wage, wage when I was like 10? Dude. In Chimney Rock, North Carolina. <laughs> um, it, might, it might have been $7 at the time. Something. That's pretty decent. Oh, man, that's not bad. That's, pretty, that's what branding that's gets really paid now. Decent. Oh, yeah. And I was in child labor, too. I started at 14. I know that it, that makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs> Much more comfortable now. Yeah, yeah, it's more acceptable now. Yeah, it was good. I was in middle school. I like, only got it. Dang. There you no. go. It's only acceptable if you work for Timu, man. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. do it. <laughs> that's true. So what, what, what was your household like growing up? Um, two older sisters and we, uh, my parents ran an old timey general store, Bubba O'Leary's general store, as you know, mm-hmm. from your research, mm-hmm. um, Catholic school, there we go, s- mm-hmm. small town, oh. Andersonville high and Immaculata oh. Catholic school. That's right. You, a uh, population of 140 in Chimney Rock and that's only 14 people of color. That's a 10% mm. ratio. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good. It's not very good. There's only 140. 140- 14 people? 140. Yeah. 140 people? 140. Jeez. Oh, that's what 14 small. people Tiny. of color, dude. Tiny. I didn't know that stat either. I knew it was like <laughs> around 100 people. We got the info, man. <laughs> Dang. Wow. Yeah. You learned something how, new. How big day. was your graduating class in? Like 20? Well, so I went to school in like 30 minutes away in Hendersonville. Uh-huh. So it was oh, like, okay. you know, 180 people. Oh, okay, okay. Decent. Yeah. So a, so a decent size. Regular, yeah. Regular yeah. Size. It was just like a normal small high school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, okay. Bearcats, okay. man. Yeah. Bearcat. Oh, you have a joke about that. I do have a joke mm-hmm. about that. Notice how these guys didn't remember. I know. I know. What, I know <laughs> a joke I like. It. Foodies. You see. Oh, I forgot about. It. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Dang. You guys <laughs> know my I like. He's like whole act. <laughs> <laughs> I did stop telling that one. Yeah, but, I like it know. though. Oh, thanks, yeah. man. I love how it divides the room, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is always the goal. Yeah, <laughs> it's always the goal because it's such a you know it's silly, but people are like, oh, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, no, like, calling people it. fat. Yeah, and I'm like, put your burrito down. You know, <laughs> thank you, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we had enchiladas today. Oh, yeah, <laughs> put From your burrito down right and cut it up like a man. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> put your burrito down and pour <laughs> sauce on it. <laughs> I like that, man. Pour that sauce on it. So, AJ, you worked on an Alaskan tour bus. Yes. Summer of 2018. How was that like? To a tour boat. The, the buses of the water, That's some what I say. Meant. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's written in the notes. He has it's a hard time with words. But. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sometimes, you know, words get ahead of me. I but hear you. What, what was that like? Were you the tour guide? Yeah, so I was uh, I was there for a summer. I was twenty, and uh, they we would go out, and it was ba- it was like being a waiter on a boat. Basically, we would make chicken wraps every day with chicken that smelled like farts. Mm, and that's then, the best guy. Yeah, <laughs> no. I'll say. Oh, no. And then uh, we would pass them. Uh, it'd be like a six hour. We would like get there and clean the boat, and then it would be like a six hour tour. And then people would like get seasick and puke everywhere and we had to clean it up and like serve food and someone's always upset. And then, but then we would get to a glacier and people would like freak out and be taking pictures and we'd see like an orca or something and we'd go and we'd go back and I would, uh, you know, get blackout drunk around a campfire (laughs) with my coworkers. That's That's pretty sick. Yeah, that that sounds like a dream. It was like maybe the greatest three months ever. It I'll sounds take a like controversial stance, though, dude. Oh, God. It was fun. What's, that? What's so great about Alaska, man? It's like, yeah. oh, there's a glacier. The glaciers? There's somebody <laughs> committing suicide. At yeah, least the highest today. suicide rate in the U.S., dude. Mm-hmm. I that's did, it. You know what's shocking? I didn't witness any suicides there. That's crazy. Mm. Damn. Pretty Is it fake news then? <laughs> it's that fucking liberal media news that's <laughs> no, trying to pass this shit fake around. News. It's a know. very unpopulated state with a large amount of land, dude. So, you know. If yeah. somebody kills mm-hmm. herself in the what? woods, like 
It's true. <laughs> true. Yeah. yeah. Did, did anyone hear the tree falling? You know? Exactly. Anyways. <laughs> did you have to fight off some polar bears and shit? You know what? I got up pretty... We saw some black bears, like, up pretty close, like, 30 feet away. Oh, and we were, shit. Like, uh, we were, like, yelling to, like, try and scare them off, and then, and then they ran away. So it was kind of not that exciting yeah, of a story, yeah. but That's they were close. But you ain't scared of bears. You're like, fuck them. Yeah, I mean, they. I didn't look scared. I thought I played it pretty cool, you yeah, know? Yeah. 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 Like, fuck What'd you me. say? Yeah, I flicked it all. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. We, uh... <laughs> I think a park ranger had said, like, just yell, hey, bear. So we were just yelling, like, hey, bear. <laughs> it's very friendly, I feel like. That's true. Yeah, it's kind of a mixed message, <laughs> hey, <bear>. you know? <laughs> yeah. What you doing, man? Yeah. They don't That's know balls. words. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't. They don't know words. All right, dude, I want to talk about this, man. What do you want to talk You're about? You're anti-immigration. Oh, South and Central. He's just coming in hot, dude. Wow. Yeah, I just want to get down to it. You actually referred to these South and Central American immigrants as pest in a 2019 <laughs> article from Mountain Express, dude. <laughs> the nine banded armadillo is invading Western North Carolina, man. Damn, man. How do you feel about those armadillos? Uh, how has the um, problem progressed? Cool. Oh. What's the state of the issue right now? Uh, well, you know, speaking of. You know, we were talking about uh, getting paid under the table earlier. Um, no, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, dude, it's weird. Armadillos are in North Carolina, and they're there to stay. <laughs> I don't think that's that weird, man. Yeah. Oh, they're here? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're just all dead. dead. I've never seen a living one. Yeah. They're they're here to stay. <laughs> I read I read your article. I read the entire article on the nine banded armadillos. I have some thoughts about what you said about climate change. But besides <laughs> from <laughs> besides from that, salamander biodiversity is not limited to the East Appalachian region. Okay. <laughs> Alabama is the number one biodiverse state in the United States Ooh, of America. Ooh, did you know dude. that? I didn't know that. Now, in terms of that. salamanders, Georgia actually has the most species with 32. Whoa. Mm. Yeah, dude. Dang, dude. You put on the armadil- glasses and you're like a different person. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a mask. It's a mask. Dang. I hate myself. Dang. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, we can talk about something yeah, normal ar- now. Hold on, hold on. Ar- armadillos. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't give you much with the armadillo <laughs> thing, but I didn't really know what to give. That's fine. I just wanted to say that he you were so anti-immigrant. Up about this dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> me too. I love he's, it. He's been juiced up about it. Like, but I do have find. some puns that you wrote in the article. Oh boy, Ooh. armadillos. What the shell? <laughs> it's not in there. <laughs> yes, it is. Pull it up, Brandon. It's in the hold notes. On, hold on. It's it's under. It's like when the article hold first starts, you have an image of a nine banded armadillo, and the caption is "What the shell?" <laughs> in all caps. I swear it is, dude. That's pretty great, actually. I swear it is. I'm glad that's in and there. And then you doubled down on the shell pun There's later. There's so many sources, not in MLA format. <laughs> Dude, our editor, our research guy did not go to college. Man. He did not need to see my paperwork, man. You're going to get on me. MLA. MLA. See, I Give can't me a lot of police MLA, reports, Brent. MLA. Yeah. Yeah. My ass. just copy and paste it on Hyperlink. Yeah. Just let y'all know. Oh yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie. There it is. Hey, look. What does it say? Right under the picture. What the shell? (laughs) What the shell? That's incredible. Armadillos roll into Western North Carolina. You're like a legit author, dude. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, (laughs) I didn't even get paid for this article. I was an unpaid intern at the time. Sons of bitches. Began their expansion throughout the U.S. in the early 1800s. How about that? Mm. (laughs) Rings a bell. Rings a very familiar bell. Hell yeah, man. And then look, you double down on the shell pun. Shell shocks. <laughs> Ooh. Like Call back, first of all. <laughs> Stand up comedy masterclass right there. Oh, man. I read this whole article on stage one time. <laughs> Did you for real? <laughs> <laughs> I can no. see. Gosh, dude, it definitely took me longer than five minutes to Ooh. get through this piece of shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry, AJ. It was very good. I actually really liked it. I just, I do have some feelings about what you said about climate change and um, the salamanders, dude. 
I what like the fuck it. are you I guys like keep it. on talking about? It's our armadillos are in there, dude. It's kind of a salamander or some shit. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I don't get why you keep, guys keep well, on talking about armadillos kind of. and salamanders. Because they're both animals. I guess I talked about it in the article. It's I don't in there. Even know. It's in there. You consulted an expert, Reynolds, I believe. I don't remember his first name or her. Let's see. Let's keep going down. Marching on. Ooh. <laughs> Up to, updated. <laughs> I also like how you put this getting hot in here. Somebody gonna be like, "What you mean it's getting hot?" Although climate change could the affect the puns are incredible. Man, I love your puns, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I see it. The salamander's right there. Yep. Look at that. Of South Southern Appa, Appalachia. Appalachia. Oh. <laughs> Let him go. Oh, I'm sorry. Let him go, JJ. Dude, what are you talking? I'm in my scholarly mindset right <laughs> yeah. now, dude. What is that? Appalachia. Oh, <laughs> no. What is it said? Southern Appa. Okay, mm -hmm. one group or one such group is the various salamanders of southern Appalachia, <laughs> a southern region. Reynolds, oh, fuck, Ryan Reynolds. Okay, Reynolds calls <laughs> the global hotspot for salamander bi biodiversity. Yeah, hey, cheers, baby. Come here. Thank Give you, man. Let's cheers. Cheers. Let's cheers. Cheers yeah. to that. Cheers to oh. biodiversity. Cheers, cheers to, to bio. biodiversity. You know, I don't fuck with hawks if that so, helps. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I don't fuck with hawks. Like, how he doesn't fuck with armadillos? I, was, I don't fuck with hawks. So you don't like I armadillos, understand. man? I don't dislike armadillos. I don't care about them. I have never had a thought about armadillos. some very strong feelings about them. That one time. I see them on the side of the road. I just think, oh, like, man. oh, damn, they can die even though they got the shield around them. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. crazy. They can jump. What hey, were we talking about? Hey, we didn't just cut because one of the cameras no. went out. No, we would, would never, never do happen. that. And it yeah, totally what? isn't propped up on a trash can either. <laughs> that <laughs> never <laughs> happened. And if no. you said it did, we'll kill you. Nah, this man. is the best fucking studio you've ever been in, right? We, the best. The yeah. only. The best. <laughs> <laughs> really the only studio. Yeah. And I've been on local news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring up the imagery. Yes, let's show that image. I really liked <laughs> oh, it boy. personally, man. When you, because, dude, that set of hair you had on there really. What probably. were you talking about? Let me, you'll there, see. Oh, look who at even how knows? perfect. Look, look right there. So perfect. Zoom look at that. Before. Zoom in on that. Oh, no, how do I enhance. Do? Okay, enhance. Where's the enhance? <laughs> Zoom oh, over there I got left. you. There we go. We got okay, it. We yeah. got it cooking. We yeah, cooking with that Holy shit! Look at that. I told you. I look. I'm you the look guy. Studious, dude. Yeah. yeah, I'm the guy on the right. You want to <laughs> yeah. Wait. Oh. Interest rates. <laughs> you gonna be brand oh new? Believe you. I almost. Well, did. What's happening in the top right corner? Um, I was. That's when Be Real was a bit. I did a Be oh, Real yeah. on stage. Pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. Hell yeah, that's cool as fuck. That you, makes a you, lot more the, sense now. What's uh, a be real? Well, first of all, you're 45 years old. We'll explain <laughs> this one. Be real was a social media app that was popular for a couple months. Probably uh -huh. longer than that. But it was like, it went off at the same time for everybody. So if you had the be real app, it was like, it's time to be real. And I know that because all my coworkers at Top Golf used to go like, guys, it's time to be real. And it was the worst. <laughs> and you would get a notification, you would go on, and you'd take a picture of exactly where you were with the forward-facing camera and the outward-facing camera. And that it's just supposed to be like a real social media. People totally didn't wait till they were somewhere cooler than they actually oh, were. okay, <laughs> okay. Dude. Were you at yeah. like a AA meeting here or what's going on? <laughs> yeah. what, what's happening Not here? even a comedy show. <laughs> you just outed all these people. <laughs> I see Jonathan Silver on oh, the left. Oh, shit. I see him too. What's oh, what's shit. <laughs> it's just not Jonathan <laughs> Silver. <laughs> Another bald black dude with a beard. Yeah. Like, oh, Love shit. that man. I thought it was him for a second. Nice, right, dude. Jake's there like, somewhere. <laughs> Choose any of the women. It's him. <laughs> right dude hell yeah so what was it like being on uh the news like how many times did you do this um i i do it they uh bring me on once a month oh you still go oh, yeah yeah. Hell yeah the newspaper i work at we have kind of an agreement they bring us on to talk about articles so so cool. what, what's the last article you talked about the last it's very exciting or, or the stuff. best one whatever one whichever your the, favorite they yeah. all kind of are not interesting but the last one was just about like less lawsuits go to trial today mm -hmm. than in the past you ever try to crack yeah. a joke on yeah, the news? yeah that's good actually i'm going through a lawsuit right now oh really yeah hmm. oh dang what accidentally kill somebody but man. Oh, man. <laughs> vehicular manslaughter is what they're calling it but got bullshit. out of the criminal charges <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that settlement will get you though <laughs> he forgot to read me the miranda right so yeah <laughs> 
Got off. Did his shoes fly off? <laughs> his shoes did fly off. What type of shoes? When you hit somebody at a very fast speed, <laughs> the shoes fly off every time. Whoa. Yeah. That's well, so three out. times has happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody it's ties them right there. And people probably. say I should stop drinking. <laughs> nah, Bitches. Man. I feel like that could have been a separate issue. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever crack a joke on the news, AJ? Mm-mm. No. Never? Just I wish serious. I had. Damn. No, I can't. I want to. Look at that stance, though. That's a serious stance. Oh, yeah. Well, he's Hands. sitting. I have. One time, One time, uh, the guy we were making, he was trying to banter before uh, going live. And uh, well, we don't go live. But before taping. And he uh, he just like asked me what, what my rent was. I just like, I just see this guy once a month. And he was like, what are you paying rent? I was like, what? I don't know. Fuck? What's your mortgage, dude? What are... <laughs> That's an odd thing to ask. Like, what just to talk about? That yeah. is weird. <laughs> How much did you pay for that hair replacement in Turkey? Obviously, <laughs> as you can see. That's a strong part. It's a strong part. I don't think it's you a purposeful st- part. I think it's mandatory <laughs> with his cut. <laughs> is this the guy that you go in there with every day? Pretty much. I mean, yeah. every month. Pretty much. Yeah, What's yeah. his name? Mike Dubberly. <laughs> Mike Dubberly. <laughs> yeah. I'm mean, looking for him. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whenever I find him, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, what are you paying in rent?" <laughs> <laughs> Please, Please. He didn't tell me, so I'm glad I didn't tell him. You know, dude, you hate when people do that. They ask you, like, we were at uh, Moody Monday singing karaoke, right? We're outside. This guy comes up. It's a group of we don't know him, and he's like, "Hey, what do you guys all do?" And he starts pointing at people, and I'm fucked up because it's like one person's a scientist for real. The next person is uh, an engineer. And they're like, what do you do? I was like, well, I, go, I go to school. And they're like, aren't you like 40? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I still I still like go to school. <laughs> and I just had to say that. And he never told us what he fucking did. Damn. Damn. He went around the room and made everybody say what they did. And then he didn't fucking say anything. He's just trying to get ideas. Rude. True. <laughs> Yeah. And first of all, Dom, <laughs> Alcoholics Anonymous is not school. <laughs> That's more of a social club. True. It's an extracurricular, actually. More of a yeah. social club, yeah. Good way to meet women. <laughs> yeah. It is, actually. I, you know, they're probably loose. <laughs> if they're there. Well, if they're going yeah. through withdrawals, they're probably not the most pleasant people to be but around. But they're trying to find something to fill the void, and that void could be your dick. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It'd be the thing that's a good Twitter bio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> J- uh, Brandon, don't you have yes, some yes, questions? Yes, I do. I have a question. I see here. <laughs> Let me pull this up, man. I'm glad that you came here today. That you used to play guard for your Hendersonville JV basketball team, right? Yes, I did. So you can play ball. Kind of, yeah. Kind of? Okay, well, you, you want to be on my team? <laughs> when I play them, man, like, like we, I'm trying to build a team. It's gonna be you and Brandon oh, versus me and JJ. Yeah, I would love to. Thank you. If man. we, yeah, if we're playing other comedians, I can play basketball. Oh, dude. Oh, see, yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll be all right. So, oh, so yeah. you're the guard. I'll be, oh, so, so we let could me, get a five on five game and record it ugh. for the clown college. Yeah, YouTube. but you know, Maybe five on five—that means full court. Three. You have time to train. <laughs> <laughs> you need to, man. This is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's what I, I want, man. Because can, how, what kind of shots do you do? I mean, I'm Definitely like, uh, no. What? No. A little bit. I, Mid range, turn around, jump shot, fade away. If you're taking it to the rack, I'm. I am kind of take. I wanted to take it to the rack. <sighs> um, I like got kind of good at like finishing around the rim, but I'm really slow, so uh-huh. it just doesn't make sense. It's like if I'm already there, I can kind of, you know, do it. Yeah. But I can't really get there. You don't have the first step, quick first step. No. No. How do you get there then? I never did get there. <laughs> what was your signature move? Like, what was your move? You know what? One, when I was a junior, I uh, met, played one season of varsity. I scored one basket. It was senior night, and they put me in in the last, like, five minutes. Hell yeah. And I did, like, a left hand layup Euro step, scored. Oh, damn. Crowd went crazy. Ah. Hell yeah. And man. then with the Euro, old James Harden over here. My parents still tell that story at the dinner table sometimes. <laughs> it's all they have. <laughs> it's, it's all they have. <laughs> it's going to be good, though, because I was in JV too, man, but back in the day, this is when I was trash, ass, and fat, and very small. 
Oh, damn. Like, it was horrible. Dude, they used to snatch it out of my hand and shit. My family would be there. I remember me and my friend, we were playing. He started crying. I was trying to cheer him up. <laughs> Wait, why was he crying? Dude, because we were playing so bad. That's why. <laughs> like, our whole family was there. He wasn't used to it by teacher, then? Dude, it was, it, it was horrible. We only had one dude. And he would run up and do those weird-ass tricks and do that little close to dunking, but he couldn't dunk thing. Okay. But yeah. It's called it, a layup. Yeah, but now. Yeah, yeah, the layup. But now I can do it. So, me and you, we're going to go in the paint. We're going to have to find the three point shooter, though. Yeah. We're going to have to find the three point shooter. Matthew Lumber. Matthew Lumber. Uh, so, Lumber's on y'all team. If you can shoot a three point. So, it's me, JJ, and Sci Fi then. Okay. Oh, fuck. Dude. Okay. Versus you, AJ O'Leary. And Lumber. And Lumber. Yes, that's, 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 right. that's fair. We'll see how it goes. Can can so, you guys play? No, I'm terrible. But okay. I'm big enough to get rebound and shit. Yeah, see. I'll just push you. I will foul you. Okay, yeah. that's fine. So you will get fouled. All right. And uh, <laughs> that's we, what, we won't be calling it. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, street you know? ball, man. Yeah. Yes. Old-fashioned street ball. Street ball. Yeah, Anything man. Anything goes. Yeah. Hey, man, so, I'm from Chimney Rock. <laughs> Ooh, see? <laughs> gang, gang. Tell them what's up, Yeah, dog. gang. CR, baby. If the 828. He gets up like a chimney, pass him the rock, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't J. like J. it before I said today. it, dude. <laughs> but I still did, dude. It's so, called perseverance. It's what you want in a basketball player. That's right. That's so right. if if the Birmingham team had a had a basketball team, Ooh. who would be Dennis Rodman and why is it Jeremiah Cotton? <laughs> <laughs> Should you tell AJ what what you call him, dude? <laughs> Wait, talking about slave face. <laughs> AJ, he does have a, he does have a very slave face. We'll put a picture of him up right here, please, Alex. Will you put a picture of him? Uh, and we'll have it right here. As you can tell, what I'm saying is how the how the uh, temples protrude, right? Sunken the, cheekbones, temples protrude. T- exactly, and, it, and it's giving. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. He he lives outside. <laughs> Maybe he has short capri pants on that are weathered at the bottom. His name isn't helping. And his <laughs> name is Jeremiah Cotton. <laughs> oh, he's a funny dude. I love Jeremiah. But he does have a slave face, and I won't be I won't stand here and not say it. <laughs> and, I and I won't stand here and not say it. <laughs> Damn. You're not standing. And you definitely said it. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> Uh, who else you got? Who's the Michael Jordan? Who's the starting five of the Birmingham, yeah, of team. Birmingham. And if you um, say Kenny's in there, dude, oh, no, we no way, Doughboy. Is, uh, <laughs> damn, man. <laughs> Kenny knows who and he is. And Scott Eason called him Melted Ice Cube. <laughs> damn, man. Cole played uh, high school basketball. Okay. All right, Ooh, so we're I can losing. See Cole. I can see Cole. <laughs> and then um, this guy, Miles Bryson. I don't know if you guys have met him. Um, I don't even know if he played basketball, but he just is like probably six, maybe close to six three, and like an athlete. He's probably in there. Black or white? Black. Okay, he gets it. Um, who else? I'll put myself in there just cause. Yeah, you got to. You point guard, right? Exactly. Point guard. Yeah, yeah. John Stockton on him. That's right, dude. I'm are, gonna... you, are you? Are you? Are you white? Uh, white chocolate. No, John Stockton. John for Stockton. Sure. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I don't have white chocolate in me, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, who else? <laughs> I don't even know who else it could be. Apparently, Chris Ivy played high school basketball. That's the tall ass dude, right? No. Oh. Um, he no. uh, how can I? Do- He's the most immaculate man in comedy. Yeah, Chris Ivy. No, I know. Oh yeah, yeah. He was he was at Chattanooga, right? I don't think so. He's like he. You sure? I don't know. He was there at the start um while you were there the first time. Yeah, that's the same dude. He was hosting the mic at JJ's. No, that was Stephen Henry. Oh, never hmm. mind. I have to say it. Anyways. Um, and then our fifth person is, uh, I have no idea, Keenan Worthington. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Just because he's over six foot. Yeah. Podcast yeah. alumni, Keenan Worthington. It's like Bill yeah, Walton, right, isn't he? You know what I mean? Yeah. Look like Bill Walton. I can yeah. see him. Yeah. No, he does a not look like him. Yeah, I you, get what he's saying. Yeah. Bill Walton. Pull up Bill Walton. Ken Worthington. The, the face only. Let me show you. They just look like they only. could be look related. He looks like Jonah, if anybody. <laughs> no, dude, Jonah this shaved his beard. Right here. He did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is. you don't look like him, man. That's Keenan's dad. It looks like Ric Flair. He does look like Ric Flair. Yeah. The one up there in the top, second one, that looks like Jonah. Jonah. 
Yeah. yeah. Any, if oh, anybody, yeah. not even. That's that, that's Jonah right okay, there. I it see, is pretty I Jonah. Do see the Jonah because they both tall too, that's man. Jonah I see Mag- it. That's Joe Magnum. <laughs> Joe Hell yeah, Magnum like the condoms, huh? They just have the same beard, you know? Kind of where the wild things are. Yeah. Oh, man, I love this <laughs> Man, dude, this going to be No good. cheek, all chin beard, dude. <laughs> right. I love it. Hey, man, to each his own. Hell yeah. If I was going to pick a starting five, nobody in this room would Damn, be Damn, come it, on. You now. haven't seen me For play. Huntsville. I don't need to. Damn, man. What about me? I would. I yeah, would Brandon beat. would be. Thank on you, there. man. He's the best basketball player I've ever seen, dude. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> are you trying to convince the camera? Yeah. Or man. yourself? Both, man. Listen, because <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's white chocolate. I'm dark chocolate. We're gonna be called the Brookie, man. You know, like stock. What was it? John Stockton. Y'all yeah, learned on the Carl same Malone. team. Hey, what? I thought we were on the same team. No, That's for something else. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're doing a Birmingham game. He's got game a Birmingham too? starting a five. Damn, man, we're doing that. That's too. what we just talked about for the last five minutes. <laughs> Damn. Breath doesn't. Damn, I don't. Man. Jeremiah Cotton, maybe he can play basketball. I don't know. I, I huh? bet he can't. He but, he's, but people will pick him. No. <laughs> people will pick him because he's so big and strong. But he usually, like, he's, he's like better at like hitting bricks and making gravel. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's that's more of his forte. Damn. I don't think finesse comes into it much. Sure, sure. Yeah, right. Gotcha. Just raw ability, dude. Sound like John. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to overly agree with it. <laughs> oh, good. You guys are hoot, man. Oh, cool. <laughs> you are hooked, AJ. <laughs> and see, I I loved AJ since the first time I saw him. Me too. I was like, I like this guy. And every time I try to talk to him, he doesn't talk to me. <laughs> he wouldn't come, he wouldn't come on the pod for like four months. Yeah, like AJ, will you please come on? He's like, hey, don't get away from me, man. It's, it's a similar <laughs> thing. It seems like nobody seems to really fuck with us at all. But if after enough time and persistence, yeah. we keep bothering people, they come on. They come yeah. on. There you go. It's like magic. Yep, Johnson. Oh yeah, but up the I met him personally too. Brandon and Magic Hug Johnson that. right here, hugging him like the Magic Touch, man. Thankfully that didn't happen. He's a good dude. He don't he do got, that. He got sexually assaulted. No, well, not crazy. by Magic allegedly. Johnson. Not by Alleged. Magic Johnson. Allegedly, yeah. he allegedly got, six man, times. You can't afford that. You can't afford that. <laughs> I was trying to write a joke about like how how bad would it suck if you fucked Magic Johnson and got herpes. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a great story to tell, though. <laughs> That's fucking you know good. How I got this? That's good. It never works. <laughs> it's very funny off mic. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how some how that shit goes, huh? I have yeah, a lot of just, jokes yeah. like this. It's yeah. like why? Why? Yeah. Why don't you guys find this as funny? Dom, why don't you say your signature joke that doesn't work? Oh. All right, so I was in the army, right? And you meet a lot of people in your army. Good people, bad people. I'm gonna tell you about the bad ones, right? All right, so I, I was I was friends. Well, see, I fuck up by saying friends. <laughs> I, I knew this one guy who, uh, you know, he was a regular dude, but he he's in prison right now for thirty years for rape. Well, yeah, and looking back on it, you know, I probably should have noticed something because he would like grab girls' arms and you know be very aggressive with women. And the same thing happened with this guy who killed his whole family. <laughs> now. Uh, it's the same thing. Hindsight's, you know, twenty twenty. I should have noticed something because, like, it's like this. One time we were uh, we were talking. He was like, "If my wife ever cheats on me, I'm gonna kill her and the kids." It's the subtle things. <laughs> <laughs> it's the subtle things, man. <laughs> First of all, both of those are true, and not. He didn't tell me he would kill his kids and all that shit, but. <laughs> you but he's just in said prison. It was true, then you were like, no. Nah. No, I mean he's in he's in prison right now for killing his wife and his kids. But you know what? He's a bitch because usually when you do that, Christian <laughs> Wall, you kill yourself too. It's it's that's Damn. that's just like the Japanese spearing themselves and getting the hair. Well, that's like a gla- that's a glass yeah. half full argument. Damn. Okay, because- you have to kill yourself. You kill your kids. No other way around it. <laughs> I don't know. I believe. But it. if you kill yourself, you don't really answer for the crime, dude. So is that more bitch shit, or should you kill the kids and then be like, you know what, I'll go to prison? No, because he gets three fucking meals now. He's sitting there playing spades with somebody when you off your. But he's also child. somebody's girlfriend. Yeah. He has Kool Aid on. His you don't know that yeah. he might know. Uh, I know that El Chapo in there or something. He, he was yeah. Puerto Rican of some sort. Yeah, you never know, man. <laughs> I don't know which Puerto which, Rican of some which sort. one he was. He could have been Colombian. He could have been any of these, but he was one of them. He was definitely one of them. <laughs> and I'm not sure which one. His last name was Colbert. 
Colbert. <laughs> Colbert. I don't know if that helps. I think well, I might know him Colbert. as well, dude. It's yeah. very Puerto Rican last name. Hey, right? Okay, so it is a Puerto Rican. <laughs> no, it's Colbert. Not? That's Colbert? like a car, isn't it? That's half a coleslaw, dude. That's like what are you Stephen. Let's search that up. Colbert? Oh, I look up that. Look up Colbert. Maybe Colbert-Rone. Like that? Or yeah, last cool? name Origin. Origin. It's Let's find out what it is. Colbert. <laughs> okay, so it's German. French. French, English, French. and Irish. You couldn't get whiter if you tried, dude. Well, they got a little German. In the he wasn't white, though. Yeah, luckily they've never had any white people in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> no. Only Donald Trump when he threw those paper towels. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, AJ, don't you... That you love just saying crazy shit. I do. It feels good. It's exciting. It? It's exciting. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about um, the guy who killed his family joke for weeks now. <laughs> do you like it, though? <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> it ne- it's never got one laugh. <laughs> and I've said it fi- at least five times on stage. It's never got even a chuckle. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I think if you... My answer to everything is just go super short with it. Like, just be like... And it's still not going to work, <laughs> but, it is, but it's still awesome. That's the part about it. Like, yeah, I never saw it coming. He said he was going to do it, and now he did it, and he's in jail for it, but I never saw it coming. It's a subtle thing. <laughs> How often do people follow up on their New Year's resolutions? You know, True. People never stick to those things. <laughs> no. Brandon, do you have a joke like that? Do I have a joke like that about killing? Like, you th- no, no, no. Just <laughs> you think a joke it's that hilarious, yeah. but it just doesn't translate hmm. with stand up. What's one that I've. Man, my mind left me. I can't think of one on top of my head, but I know there is one in the vault somewhere. Where is this at? We're going to go back in there. Figure mm-hmm. this out. I've got one, dude. Go ahead. Yes, while you do that. <laughs> Don, this, is, this is how I, I got Dom to start doing the podcast with I, love this what joke. I, told I already him. know what it is. I love it. It's, uh, when I was in the fourth grade, we went on a field trip to a local cave called Cathedral <laughs> Caverns. All right. And I had a crush on this girl, and we spent the whole field trip together. We were like, you know, we ate lunch together. I gave her the butterfinger out of my lunch bowl. It was a big deal, man. It was a lot. And at the end of the tour, you get to the end of the cave, and they turn out all the lights to mimic natural darkness. And I didn't know that they were doing it because I was talking to this girl. I was deathly afraid of the dark as a child. The lights go off. I throw an uppercut (laughs) that... Mike Tyson would have been proud of. It connects with something. I'm not sure what it is yet, but then the lights turn on, and she's on the floor, and um, the teacher sees, and she's crying on the ground, and out of instinct, it's Etowah County, Alabama. It was dark, so I blamed it on a black guy. And, um, you know, I did throw him under the bus, but at least it was the front of the bus. (laughs) Now that's good. That's good eating right there, dude. (laughs) That's a good joke. You notice how AJ laughs more at the other one, dude? (laughs) (laughs) It's it's almost like that one isn't more funny than it is fucked up. (laughs) It's, I didn't, I threw him under the bus, but at least it was the front of the bus. It's great. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. I like that. That's a a great line. Yeah. I I gotta be honest. Uh Uh-huh. I don't get it. Rosa Parks. The front of the bus? Yeah. Rosa Parks. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. What? Okay. (laughs) It's it's February's been too long ago, huh? <laughs> Damn, you gotta man. brush up on your black history. <laughs> she was trying to up. cram study for Pride Month. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Hasn't even come up yet. It's crazy. And Rosa Parks wasn't gay, so she doesn't matter in June, Dom. That's true. Okay. But it's July now, motherfucker. Yeah, it's We're July. Out of- what is it now? Hispanic Hispanic or let's see what Hispanic. Is- <laughs> There's a lot Hispanic of months Hispanic that, Hispanic that just started Hispanic. coming up. July, July, I think month. it's straight Pride Month. Now. Celebration. Yeah, right. There's no sister. July month celebration. Let's That's every out. every other month. Let's see. National Fragile X Awareness Month. What I, is I won't, that? I won't deal with it. No, I don't know wait, what it is. Wait, and I don't wait, care. Wait. Let's find out what Hold it is. Hold on. Is that real? Let's click on it. Up. Look, it says <laughs> what is the month <laughs> Ju- July celebrating. Let's Let's Brand- <laughs> oh, okay. Including Grilling Month. I'm down no, with this. Brandon, click on the Ooh, first one. Ooh, that's a good one. Man. Disability Pride. That's what that's it is. What, Brandon, it's your month, baby. Yeah. Hot Dog Month. It's your month as well. That damn I do love a good Jimmy Jam. Picnic Month. Hot Dog Month. Ice cream. Green month, let's go. Uh, I fuck but with Brandon, that. click on that first link. Right I want to know what fragile X is. Yeah, I, I feel like that's a genetic. It's definitely something disabled. <laughs> fragile X. 
It says, uh, July shines a spotlight on the most common form of inherited yeah. intellectual disability. What is Fragile X, though? Brandon is actually technically fad- Fragile X. What does that mean? You just got, we'll, we'll get You're you a pen and all that. You're one consonant away from getting canceled right now, Dom, so chill let's out. See, man. Let's what? see, during the month. What's the what is, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, the so R. it says, the syndrome oh. is a mutation of the FMRI gene. What, the, what is that? That's okay, a we'll one, figure it but out. that's fine. One, yeah. one, <laughs> one. Well, it is the most common form of inherited intellectual disability. It impacts men more than women. Some people may oh. have the gene mutation but you know never shows signs symptoms but what is it oh wow that's a later what is it's, not say, yeah, it's not saying mild severe what systems of what let's see let's see damn they're not telling me they're just saying there's no cure for it mm. damn it brandon damn. we're, we're gonna find a cure for hold on let's let's see what fragile what x say. is what is fragile x <laughs> deficiency come on y'all okay a genetic that causes intellectual disability oh dude brandon it's just, it's just being retarded. Oh, wait, so this is learning disabilities right here? Slow, yeah, slow. Dude, I got Touch. learning disabilities. We know, man. man. Damn. You see, look this, just this, like this, the guy this, in No, I think this is whenever you're in special needs. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Not special ed. This isn't special ed, There's which a difference. is different. There's a big there difference. There is a difference, and we need to have an awareness month for that. Yeah. For which one? Special ed versus no, special no, needs. No, we don't need it. It's all right. We, oh, it's all right. But okay. I mean, we could, this we is could. your month. This literally is your month oh, right now. Is, oh, okay. And we're going to celebrate it every time we come on this show yeah. and every time we add an open <laughs> mic. I will be bringing up that this is your month Man. and they better fucking respect it. Yeah, I agree. I, I think agree. it was a blue blue pen they had, a little Damn. ribbon. We're yeah. going to get that. Oh, okay. We'll get that okay. for you. Get that I'll get it wear. tattooed on my back yeah, right yeah, now. Right. <laughs> Put your name in there on oh, the ribbon. See, we all need that. No, dude, I love you, man. I love you too, man. I wear a blue polo or something. Oh, just calm down, dude. Pride month was last month. Okay, don't. Don't say it back. <laughs> All right. So, w- what's your joke that you uh, never works on stage, but you love? Joke that I, um, man, I have so I feel like I have a million, but I can't think of any. Uh, I hate that. uh what even would I want to say? Um, I don't know, dude. I'm just gonna have to think about it. Don't worry about it. We can come back anytime. You could, you could just jump in, no matter what we're saying, and then say it. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Cut it came to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just doesn't matter. And then it's yeah. going to bomb here also. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, That'll glad be you remembered. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to be honest. I do remember one thing. I don't remember the joke, but I remember the situation because I told somebody before I said it on stage. They're like, what the hell, Brandon? Because one time I did a thing about how I realize now that there's more situations where, like, the dude specifically in class, like, the girl teacher come up and be like, hey, man, you want an extra grade? Let's do this. And then I made a joke basically clarifying how I was kind of, like, jealous. Because I was like, damn, man, why weren't they doing this during my time? Because, I mean, I wouldn't Well, you talking about that. fucking the students. <laughs> yeah, you I'm, talking about, I'm talking about me. Me, yeah, but yeah. I'm not talking about the teacher. I'm talking about me. Like, I'm saying. I, why didn't you get I, sexually yeah, assaulted by a yeah, woman instead yeah, of a man? I, yeah, if that happened, we don't know. I don't <laughs> it did. Know. It did. That's been well said. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was, I was I like, I, I was like, because I was like, there was times when I would look and be like, damn, if only, you know what I mean? If only, because they would do something. I had one lady sticks up in the bra and, mm-hmm. and well, explain one, that. Yeah, yeah like, don't be, don't pass over that. I'm sorry, the teacher, if you got in trouble, she would specifically open their bra up, look at you, and stick stuff in there, right? Stick <laughs> what in there? Anything. Whatever. <laughs> what whatever does that takes, mean? How is that takes, a punishment? Listen, if she took your phone, she's going to stick it in there. If she, you got a toy that you love so much, like if I had a wrestler or something, she's going to That was only there. branded. <laughs> <laughs> that was only yeah, branded with the John limited Cena. edition <laughs> WWE Legends Hulk Hogan yeah. Japanese Wrestling oh, Alliance man, figure. Dude, dude. <laughs> I would cry with that one, man. I got the Chase Edition, you know, the limited edition one. With the what is it? He got the red and blue, but that's a different story. <laughs> but yeah, man, I used to, I used to like one time I accidentally smacked the teacher. Well, I, I didn't mean to. I accidentally smacked the teacher's ass one time. I didn't mean to do it though. <laughs> how do you, how, how so do you I went to pick up my pencil, and then I accidentally went up, and her ass right there. I was like, no, oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean <laughs> that to. That didn't look like an accident. I didn't mean to do Did that. You smack it whenever. Yeah, it was tap because the whole class was like, oh shit, <laughs> and then she looked back and was like, oh, that's Brandon. It's all right. <laughs> Grade. They can do whatever. Uh, this is like eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Okay. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. You were a teenager. <laughs> yeah. Eighth grade. Good year. Oh, God. That was not good a good year. year. It was okay. It was what okay. What made it? What made? What played into eighth grade being a good or bad year? And, and just was it that? was. This was the year. This was the last year I was fat. This is when I realized I was because I remember I asked him. I was like, my fat. They're like, hell yeah. And that's when I started basketball mm. and tried. So I would play every single day. That's why I'm a little good. 
because I would play every single day just to lose that weight. And I did, and I came back my freshman year and thought that everybody going to be like, oh, my gosh, Brandon, you lost all that damn weight. No, man, everybody thought I did crack. Like, the teacher would ask me <laughs> if I was a crackhead and shit. <laughs> And it was bullshit. Like, I, I swear. <laughs> you worked up. for it, dude. Yes, I did work for it. And they blamed it. it on crack. Yep, they blamed it on crack. So now I was like, I got to get muscular, I guess. And now I try wrestling. Which I love. Uh, so Love to wrestle dudes, man. It's good shit. Dudes, women ain't Okay, love. okay. Dude, wait, you, why'd you, you say You just don't dudes? have to say it. It's like... That's what wrestling imply is. Imply that it's your wrestling right. man. Well, you wrestling everybody. I wrestled men, women, children. Did you ever get beat people. up by a girl in wrestling? No. Not even one. I have horrible stories. <laughs> Both, man. Man, I felt bad. I, bad I wrestled shit. a special needs person. <laughs> oh, so, so it was. And like, they slammed the shit out of you, didn't they? <laughs> no, dude. It was bad because it was senior night, and my mom, my mom never came to any of my. She's German. She doesn't do things like that, like uh, support me. But uh, so she, so she actually came to this wrestling match a senior night, but they didn't have a, um, they didn't have a person for me to wrestle. And I was the best dude on the team. And I was like, just give me anybody. And they were like, well, this dude from JV. And he was clearly something was wrong with him, you know. And I could have went easy on him, but I beat him like 15 seconds. I just slammed him on the mat and pinned him. Just because, you know, he needed to. He needed to. I think you should do that. They should all be treated the same. That's Everyone good. should be treated the same. And why did you say they? I was talking about the special needs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I meant. Okay. Continue my. But you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't you, if you were special, wouldn't you want to be treated as everyone else? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's a good point, actually. Yeah. So I'm not just gonna go there and play with them. I'm gonna slam them <laughs> on the fucking ground as hard as I can, just like I would if it was, <laughs> if it was anybody else. And I'm a. Do like this and he's easy pin, so it's done faster. Yes. It's like but when you how, kill an dude. animal, you want to do it fast. You yes. don't want to yes. drag it out. <laughs> don't <laughs> kill it. Okay, but how when we say that the guy had special needs, to oh, what degree? Oh no, 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 yeah. Brandon or No, Burst? Burst and Brandon. Oh, like thank he had God. like he had a he had an affliction. You know. Ooh. Did he make noises when you slammed him? I can't, I can't. I can't remember. He's like, if he makes a low tone, that means he was this low. But I, my my move. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you got don't you got a question oh, for AJ about? Uh... Yes, I do. But before I do that, I want to tell you. I want to tell you about that wrestling thing. Listen, listen. You did the best thing ever, man. Right? Because do you know? And like wrestling, like when I first started, when I first started, and they would put me in that varsity shit, I didn't know what I was doing. You'd have the pros, like seniors and shit. And what they do is they let you down. And once they realize they can let you down, they let you back up, take you back down. Mm -hmm. Let you back up. They playing take with you. Back you. Down. Yeah, and, and it, it hurts like, more. Yeah, and then years later, I remember one time I, I did that. Well, I didn't really do it. What I did was let him up, slam him a couple times. And then the dude was like, what's wrong with you? You're supposed to keep letting him up and go down since he doesn't know what he's doing. And I've always never followed that. So when you do that, I, I agree with that. That's Come what here. I would give do. Give me some too. nuts. Okay. Air nuts. You know what? Let's air let's nuts. give a round of applause for Don okay. for oh, slamming oh, a wrestler with special He did needs. right. He did what he was supposed to Thank do. Thank you, guys. That's, that's I've better. always needed this affirmation. Yes. On senior night? On senior, it was on senior night. What I had to get my mom a rose. So. Yeah, oh, did, what, 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 did, what did your mom say about your performance? She said, uh, she said was something wrong with him? <laughs> Damn, man. She didn't say good job or anything. She was <laughs> not like, anymore. Wrong with him. Like, yeah, but that's not usually how it is. <laughs> they should have given you a better opponent. <laughs> That's I love. Damn, man, hold up. Man. <laughs> I love the German accent, but it's on. You know, you can't do like a. I'm about to say crazy shit about Germans. You can't. They're very. They're very cosmopolitan. <laughs> man, that was insane. <laughs> That's a good accent. It's not that crazy. That. Um, does your mom? Have like a thick German accent? No, she has it, but it's not like I never noticed it growing up because it's just how she talks. But it's not like that, like that hard until she starts talking to her family back home. Then it's all kind of, you know, <laughs> shit like that. And they, I'm like, what? Did, what were you guys talking about? She's like, oh, we we're just saying happy birthday to each other. I'm like, you guys sound like you were trying to kill each other <laughs> on the fucking phone. But it's uh, it's aggressive. It is. It's very it is. aggressive. I believe and she it. doesn't like American whites. Oh dang. dang! Okay, mm -hmm. not a big fan of American whites. What's uh, Damn, what's the dude. thinking there? She... I don't. I just growing up, I never really thought of it. And then like five years ago, I'm like, Mom, do you got any? Because I know she has white friends, but they're like European and shit. I was like, Do you got any American white friends? She was like, No. I'm like, Why not? I'm like, You you don't like them? She's like, I heard they're fine. <laughs> this is, this is verbatim what she said, and I'm like, What do you mean you heard they're fine? Like, you whenever she was like, They just smile too much and and say how are you doing? I'm like. 
Yeah, they're nice. It, good. She doesn't like the nice. And that's, that's why I support what? the 1924 National Origins Act. We got to put a fucking quota on these people. <laughs> 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 right here. All right, I'm sorry. Brandon, what was your question? Okay, yeah, yes, I do, because I saw in your notes, or in these notes here, man, that you have an offer that you like. His name is Duke alum Tucker Max. Right? Oh. And D- his, his no, Duke, you know. Duke alumni <laughs> oh, is a shit. title. Duke alum- oh, he's a Duke <laughs> alumni. My bad. <laughs> he's a Duke alumni. His name is Tucker Max. <laughs> and I was interested because you have he wrote a book called Assholes, ugh, Assholes Finish First, right? I don't know who Tucker Max is. You, you don't? I don't ass- in yeah, because I remember Assholes no. Finish First. I know. I know Tucker Max was that guy who wrote all those kind of yeah. books back in the yeah, early 2000s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. They I have, have they have movies about one of them. I can't remember which one. I think that was Maybe this was a different Jack AJ O'Leary. Yeah, yeah, it could have been. Did yeah. That. I'm I'm not familiar. Jack but I supported it because I have a book. Let me show you this book that I read or I used to read. I quit reading it. It's called Nice Guys Finish Last. <laughs> and what it's about is like I thought they, was- they call you a they call you the what's this word called a simp or the beta or something like that. It's like a red pool type thing. Yeah, My yeah. bad pill type thing. And what you do is, <laughs> it's like they tell you, they're like, oh man, people don't uh, like it because you're too nice or something like that. And uh, I used to follow that and take notes. I quit though because it's not, it's not the nice stuff ain't the right. last Time Magazine. Okay, oh, my bad. Nice guys. The, um, hey man, simping ain't easy, you know? <laughs> it's not. That's, yeah, we had to quit that. Are you a simp? Oh hell! Uh, Were you a tricker or you trick? Um, it's called trick. Kind of, kind of, kind of, of both. <laughs> Dep- depends on the day. Yeah, yeah. I'll trick. I don't give a fuck. I've been like that my whole life. I'll, I'll buy you a little something. Bring my book. I'm if I'm gonna get, if I'm gonna get a sloppy blowjob, hmm? what's what's the wrong with the Yeah, what's, Hoc-tua. what's wrong with buying or something? Jokes yeah, nice yeah. dinner. Sure, yeah. sure. Even if you're not yeah. getting nothing, you still got to go out on a nice dinner. But then most of the time, you know, it's really nice. <laughs> you get that. <laughs> Hot too. Did you know she's coming into comedy too? Of course. They say she's gonna become a comedian. Why God. wouldn't you? This will be that. this will be forgotten about in two. By the time this episode comes out, people won't even remember Hawk Tua girl. That's just how it goes. Maybe, talking about AJ maybe. O'Leary. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey but, man. So uh this means Jack likes you, so he wrote you ran at least one 5K, Ooh. but you have zero bumper stickets confirming this. Zero bumper stickets? Yeah, that's true. How, did you, how does he know what my car bumper looks like? <laughs> we have imagery. He knows a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only genuinely concerning <laughs> yeah. research thing. Yeah. Thank but God you have some of the numbers on the wall in your apartment, so you must have ran. No. No. I don't know. Um, what did he say? I, uh, uh, I, when I was in middle school, I wanted to be an Olympic marathoner. Uh. It's my life goal. Hmm. And then I, and then in high school, literally, literally, I, till I was 16, I wanted to be an NBA player and I was not a good basketball player. <laughs> and I just was delusionally like, yeah, going to the NBA. I love it. Same here. <laughs> I love it, dude. I was the same way with football. Same. Sometimes you just have to have that delusion. Yeah, you know. But, you know, you never know. You could have been the new uh, Muggsy Bowles or something like that. Could have been. <laughs> okay. MB. 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 He kind of looks I, like him. Dude, listen, I'm on the same, dude, because I, I used to, like, in middle school, I, because I don't know why, I used to get every NBA game. I really wanted to be on it. And I used to try out for the team every year. And I always ended up being a water boy. And then, like one time, <laughs> one time I was in the class or in the in the in the locker room, and they were like, "I was like, damn, man, I just don't get it. How come I can never be on this team?" And then he looked at me, he put his hand on my shoulder, he's like, "Listen, man, some people are meant to be stuff, and you're meant to be a water boy, and that's what you're gonna oh, be." Damn, dude, um, and that's indoor water. Yeah. water. that's not even outside. That's some bullshit. Man. You're meant to be a water boy. You meant to be Amazing. a water. It's good for you, man. Get the fuck water out. is good for you. It is. Yeah. But not for me to do that. I yeah, know. I get it, man. I'm sorry. I was trying to make. What team did you want to play for? <laughs> <laughs> I can see AJ being on like the Timberwolves. Like, yeah, I want to go to the Jazz, NBA, dude. but I don't want to play for the Kings. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up, right? <laughs> but the, you know, this is 2016. But um, I uh, I don't know. I love Derrick Rose. He was my hey, favorite player. Hell yeah. Go Bulls. Man. An Bulls. O'Leary Bulls jersey. Dude, that would have been cool. I would love that. You would have cleaned up by Wrigley Field. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, dude. Easily. 
Windy City. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been there? Never. (laughs) Go to Wrigley. Go to Wrigley uh, Field, and outside there is all bars. Okay. And that's where that's where you should go. What I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. I've been. I go there too because it's only white bitches. It's only what? White bitches. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. So, but you don't know his. You don't know his preferences. But, but I'm saying he'll be safe. We there. haven't even asked and him Chicago. that. We haven't even gotten there on the notes. We yet. haven't. <laughs> What's your favorite uh, race to? to we have name? a pie chart of his former lovers. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. Pull it up, Brandon. <laughs> <Demographics. laughs> oh, I got you. Pull it up on pages. Let's see. <laughs> Jack's very good. <laughs> That'd be nice if it was, though, wouldn't it? Man? I can see you fucking with black chicks. Have you? I never have. No. Never have. Not opposed to it. Not opposed to it. Mm-hmm. You know. Try to try to be open minded. Well, mostly whites so yeah. far in life. But <laughs> I'm know. sorry, man. Well, you're we went from North Carolina to Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, actually, they told me there's Birmingham. a lot. There's a lot of uh, Spaniards. Have you ever been to Birmingham? It's um. Me. Yeah. Like once or twice. Yeah, we went together, man. Yeah. Dang. It's pretty even split. Dude. But I didn't see any. I didn't see the Puerto Ricans they were talking about was there. Yeah, no, Birmingham. It's all blacks and whites. Really? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Who was telling Very. me? I think it was Keenan. Was like, oh. Puerto Rican chicks all up in there. Could be, you know. He targets them. <laughs> <laughs> That's Keenan, you know. Hell yeah. It's Keen. He knows what he wants. <laughs> That's good. But uh, you know, mo- mostly whites at this point. Mm-hmm. Dabbled in dabbled in Asian before. You oh know? wow! Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Oh, wow. That's just, just about it. So f- actually, no, that's not true. I was with, I was with um, Filipinos. In, uh, don't this count. This girl who her parents were Indian, oh, Southeast okay. Asian. Yeah, Southeast Asian and East Asian Hell and yeah. white. Did her dad look like me? Wait, what I is don't know. East Asian? <laughs> Thailand could have. Uh, yeah, they're on the border. Tra- they were trans. He doesn't want to. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It was a sex tourism thing. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Five cent suck bar, dude. We've all been there. <laughs> Or we have a, a a private note in our iPhone about it. First of all, I okay. Well, I can't talk about that on here, but I'll talk about it in the solo part. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, that's a good idea. Uh-huh. Well, all right, AJ, that ghostly Muhammad Ali over there means that's the end of the pod. Oh wow! It went by so fast. We could literally talk to you for three hours. This was fun, man. Thank you guys for having me. This Thank you cool. so much. And if you want to, right now, in this camera right here, anything you got coming up, it'll be on the side of you, uh, <laughs> all your socials and stuff for people listening. Um, I will be at, is this is this good for the promo, you think? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hold it right over your face. <laughs> um. Laugh till you cry show. I did. I did a very awkward promo for this on Instagram already this week, so it's up. But uh, July thirty first at Carter's Hookah Lounge. Come Hell see yeah. me. We'll play that promo at the end too. We can. Yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, what else? Uh, Funny business. July eighteenth, Kerrigan's Pub. Come check it out. So yeah, thank you guys for socials? having me. Of course, man. Socials. Uh, YouTube, you don't need to look at my YouTube. Funny guy AJ nine two four three. There are ninety two forty two others, and uh, Facebook AJ O'Leary, Instagram AJ O'Leary forty three. So, nice. See you later, <laughs> alligator. <laughs> After a while, crocodile. crocodile. Hey, yeah. thanks man. Yeah. 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 It was awesome. Hell yeah. Damn, that was fun. That was good, good, boys. I'll just uh, split.